Hey guys, how you doing? Nick here. And today we're going to go through a grappling dummy drill to improve your ability for BJJ. So, we're in the garage, which is the natural habitat of a grappling dummy. So, it shouldn't be so difficult to find one. So, with this mobility drill, we're going to focus on strengthening the neck and improving the mobility of the spine. So, just a few things about this drill. It's not about how fast you can do it and how explosive you can do it, but rather more how control and light you can be doing this. So, when you do this, holding the positions uh, as much as possible with control and, of course, landing lightly on your feet. This mobility drill you've probably done with a partner before and it's just literally doing a series of headstands. Okay, so first up we're going to do side to side headstands. A general rule is wherever your head is, your legs should be on the opposite side. So with this, it's easier to do a side control where you focus your weight on the hips rather than towards the shoulders. So, we get into our side control, more of a sprawl style side control going across the hips. Your leg configuration doesn't really matter as long as you are heavy across the hips. So what you do here is you shift your head to the side, driving the you're going to drive the shoulder into the dummy and then of course place your hands wide enough, fingers wide so that you can headstand and move across. So the next one we're going to call the 45 degree flying panda because jujitsu and coming up with names, how high are you? Yes. So basically same idea, I'm going to place my head next to the dummy, next to the hip, I'm going to go into a headstand position and I am going to headstand, go over with my butt going across the head over here and then I'm going to shift myself around. Once again, focusing on landing lightly on my feet and then going around the world. Side control of choice being heavy at the hips. All right, more of a sprawling type of side control. And then moving your head, placing it, doing a headstand, landing lightly, you can grab the legs. And then of course, Moving into position. Back to your side control. Once again, moving your head next to the hip. Getting ready to headstand. Do it with control. Over, landing lightly, grabbing the legs, moving around. Back to your side control. Of course when you get better with these movements start mixing them and matching them and of course go more around the world with your dummy so when I say that you mix and match move around And of course, you can add other things to make it a bit more fun for yourself, like going transitioning to knee on belly, back to side control, moving into this mobility draw. Knee on neck, knee on belly, shift, move. Shift, 
Move. Move. Get to your side control again. Back to your belly. Move to your neck. Shift around. And then of course, we go back to side control and we do the whole headstand thing once again. Okay, so when it comes to this mobility drill, I wouldn't recommend actually doing this to switch from side control to side control. It will make you vulnerable. However, I do find this mobility drill helpful in executing scrambles. I know from previous experiences shooting for takedowns and getting caught in the front headlock, I find myself utilizing this mobility drill in order to execute a scramble to escape that vulnerable position. And from my own experience, I think that might just help you. As you can see, I am a mediocre purple belt, so you don't have to take my word for it. But if you find this video helpful to you and you want me to teach more jujitsu and grappling style things on my channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like, subscribe maybe, <laughs> only if you want to. And then please look after yourself, take care, and until next time.